Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. Today we are taking a look at, from the G.I. Joe Retaliation line, Ultimate Cobra Commander. And as you can see, this is basically the Cobra Commander we know and love in his classic design. Um, the figure features um, all the new points of articulation, ball jointed head, although with the hooded head that is somewhat limited, um, ball, uh, pin and socket shoulders, um, 90 degree bend at the elbows, swivel at the elbow, um, swivel at the wrist with the new wrist articulation, um, the right hand holding his, um, python pistol, whatever the heck it's called, um, moves up and down, and the left hand can swivel in and out, and it's at, in an open gripping type of hand. Unfortunately, that hand really can't hold much of anything and if I didn't know any better I would say it could probably hold like the cosmic cube from the red skull from the Avengers line moving on he does have uh, a diaphragm joint which allows him to rotate side uh, side to side as well goes go forward and back unfortunately that means he does not have the traditional holster for his pistol built into the back he just has a regular um, peg hole, which we'll get to in a moment. And let me show you right there. I was turning it around, but the figure began to fall over. <laughs> um, ball jointed hips, double jointed knees, um, and of course the full um, ang uh, uh, ankle articulation, forward and back, as well as an ankle pivot. For accessories, I mentioned he has this hooded head. He also comes with his traditional metal faceplate that is vac metal. And what's nice is it's a it's not the same head that came with the um, Best of the 80s pack. They've tweaked it just a little to make it look nice. As I also mentioned, he comes with his Python pistol, and he also comes with a knife that fits in the sheath. And basically, that's the only place that knife can go because none of his hands can hold it due to the handle being small. One of these years they will get to a point where they can uh, make a knife that will fit in the sheath and that the figures can hold without any type of modification or, or you know, enhancements like clear bands or whatever. Let's pause here. I'm going to zoom in and give you a detailed look at the figure. I went ahead and switched the heads for you so you can get a good look at his uh, very nicely vac metalized. Um, helmet head. Now the blue helmet is removable. Uh, there's no glue or anything to say it was supposed to be glued down. Unfortunately it does not have the three explosives molded in like the 25th anniversary um, ones did, the early ones. Also as you can see, as I mentioned, he doesn't have the holster. But around his belt he does have a couple pouches molded in. Very nice. Uh, has that great uh, Cobra Insignia right there. Um, nice little detail on his utility belt. Silver buttons. You know, it's basically blue, black, and little hints of silver. I mean, it's a, it's a Cobra Commander. It's a simple looking figure. I mean, but it's the classic looking Cobra Commander. I mean, that's the important part. Let me come in and just uh, real quick, oops, as he falls over, show you his um, alternate head. Um, Yes, it does look like the eyes are were painted looking up. Um, it's actually not that no, bad when the um, head is on. And to be honest with you, in all the hooded Cobra Commanders I've seen, the eyes kind of do look like that. But it's blue with the red insignia. Yes, there is flesh tone colored um, underneath. I guess it's supposed to be a human head. Or it's just basically being true to the original figure. I do like the molding in the folds of the fabric. I mean, I'll be honest, I think this is the best looking hooded Cobra Commander head we've seen in a while. I mean, it just really looks nice. Um, there is actually one more accessory he came with, and we're going to get to that right now. Okay, one of the features they've been doing with um, these ultimate versions of figures are including these um, somewhat gimmick play accessories. Um, with the classic characters, they've been doing um, little nods 
to um, the old days. So, yep, that's right. He comes with a figure stand. No, I'm kidding. He actually comes with this really nice copter backpack that, number one, is meant to homage the classic uh, motorized battle packs. But if you bring it around here and take a look in, it says Fang here on the side. And it actually has the styling and details of the Cobra Fang. This is also a little homage to the Cobra Fang Chopper. Now, to be honest with you, I think he should have came with the um, little claw backpack that Storm Shadow comes with. Since one of the more iconic uh, images of Cobra Commander is flying the claw to lay a bomb at the base of the Statue of Liberty from the opening of G.I. Joe the movie. Now, little plunger here. You press it, and the rotor blades spin. Unfortunately, they don't spin that freely or nicely, and because it's a teethed gear, they, you can't flick it with your fingers, but for what it is, it's nice. There's also one other little feature. Right underneath the plunger, there's a uh, gray button right where my finger is. So if uh, Cobra, flying, Cobra Commander's flying along here, you know, wee, 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 look what he can do. He dropped some bombs on you. Yes, due to the placement of the door, uh, it kind of looks like maybe Cobra Commander's pooping on you, but he does come with like these little gravity released bombs that, you know, the door sort of springs open, but you gotta flick it down. But it is kind of cool. And one little negative thing I do feel the need to mention is uh, it's easy to get him into the backpack, but it's a little tricky to get him out. I had to bring uh, Cobra Commander's number one Cobra Trooper, Steve, in for this final shot. It goes without saying, but this, as of this recording, is the best version of the original Sunbow early Marvel Comics Cobra Commander. Um, the articulation is the best it can be. Um, the detailing, the look... This is Cobra Commander. Um, and of course, from what I've heard, this figure is a little bit hard to find. I highly recommend making the effort to hunt this figure down. It is worth it. Even the casual Joe fans that I know, who you know had G.I. Joe but were fans of another line, that was more than meets the eye, are looking for this figure just because it's the Cobra Commander. For what you get in the set, you really, they theoretically don't get a lot of accessories, but you get the accessories that are right for Cobra Commander. Again, I can't recommend this figure enough. This is your old pal Chuck for Cobra Commander. And what the heck, for Steve again. We'll, I'll talk to you next time.